Sometimes it, it may appear as though I'm sitting in an awkward manner, but actually I'm just trying to keep uh, uh, keep the reflection down from my glasses. I haven't quite mastered all of this uh, technology yet. Anyway, um, you know, the 1960s and the early 70s was a period of uh, tremendous uh, uh, growth in interest uh, of uh, Asian religions, philosophy, and, and art. Uh, it was a, a fantastic period of time for the publication of, of various uh, books. So I want to just mention one book, which was, uh, it came out quite early, I believe it's 1971. The book is called Tantra Yoga, and it's by the uh, famous, infamous, uh, notorious uh, Nick Douglas. We've mentioned him already because he did that book on on uh, yantras and block print yantras, Buddhist and uh, Bumpo primarily, uh, which I think is really the best uh, uh, book, uh, best publication available for that kind of study. Now, he did a number of books. He did, uh, uh, also he did the Black Hat, uh, I think it's called the Black Hat Karmapa. Um, that was also in the in the 70s. But, but he did a book on, on Tantra, it's called uh, Tantra Yoga and it is just full of images. Now, it does more cater to the to more the Indian side, the Hindu side, and not so much the Himalayan art, um, but it does include some images. Now, the book is very simple in how he's uh, arranged it. It just has uh, uh, four chapters, Origins and Development of Tantra, Cosmology and Evolution of Consciousness, uh, the Tantra concept of sound, and then sadhana, the practice of Tantra yoga. And, and this book is really excellent because of the pictures. Now there's a lot of interesting things that, that he actually says in the book, um, so it's really, it can be quite good. But really the, the strength of the book is just the variety of images that relate to Tantra and to yoga. Yoga and Tantra go together. Um, so the book is uh, the book, the book you can find in, in used bookstores, um, it was published actually out of, I think, Delhi. Uh, Munshiram, I think, was the publisher um, back in the day. Uh, but the book is, is excellent for the pictures. It's a real good introduction to tantric imagery, um, predominantly more Shaiva and uh, some Vaishnava, but also relating very strongly to uh, Vajrayana Buddhism as well. So press the like button, you can join, you can, uh, uh, you can also join the Har on Patreon, uh, that's very important. We have uh, longer videos, more information, and you can also make a donation on the Har Himalayan Art Resources homepage.